Crazy Craft Scotland, it's Fiona here and I'm back from my holiday so I thought I would do this little review video that I've been desperate to do for ages. I actually bought this Crystal Creations Diamond Art in B&M Bargains a few months ago and I've been meaning to get started on it for a while and I wanted to do it as a review video because I'd never seen a crystal art or diamond painting in like a bargain shop in our area at all ever so I was really excited when I saw it and it was only about five pounds I think so I really wanted to review it I'm hoping that it's good and if so that they do come out with more now this as you can see is a wolf they also had a tiger I think it was a white tiger that they had but I'm a wolf person having used to having an old husky so I decided to get this and I think it is gorgeous so let's have a look at it so it's Crystal Creations, it's called. It says there's 2,000 plus crystals. Create dazzling crystal art with that really shines. Okay, so there's 12 vivid colours. That's the colours there. And look at the pen. That looks really, really nice. I've never had anything other than the bog standard pink pen before. It says includes over 2,000 crystals sorted into individual colour compartments designer crystal stylus, silicon gum, and self-adhesive stand-up canvas. So let's open it up and see what it's like inside. So it is a hard back. It's like a book, actually. When you open it up, ooh, the first thing that strikes you is the picture. There it is. And it is, ooh, it is on quite a thick canvas. That's nice. I like that. I like that idea, definitely, for the price. That's excellent. And over on this side, we have got the 12 different colours and they are all separated. I don't think I'll use this um, for storing them while I'm doing it. A lot of people might, but I've got other storage that I like to use. However, if you're a beginner, these would be ideal. You would be able to just keep them in and um, keep a note of the number of each of the crystals. Now, down here, in the spine you have got the packet number and the canvas symbol so that seems self-explanatory let's have a look at the symbols sorry about the reflection the symbols i'm going to zoom you in a little bit the symbols look nice and clear i'm not sure what that one is is that nine yeah the nine isn't overly clear however there's nothing else really like it so that should be fine. All the other symbols look nice and clear. Where's the green circles? Can't see a green circle. Is that the eye maybe? It's got there a green circle. That may be the eye. But that doesn't look like a green circle, does it? Hmm. I might come across it once I'm actually doing the diamond painting. So I'll zoom you back out. It does look nice and clear. Going back over to this page here, we have got the pen, which it reminds me of Frozen, actually. It's like Elsa's wand, does not it? And you've got your wax there as well. So, so far, so good. It looks like there's everything that we're going to need. Yeah, I think that number 12 must be the eyes because there's only, only two. Oops. There's only two in there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. There they are. So yeah, that must be the eyes. Right, let's take the canvas out and have a proper look. Oh, it is sellotaped. Oh, let me show you the back actually. So on the back it looks like it has instructions on how to do it if you are a beginner this looks like it would be perfectly um, suitable for beginners now look down there it says $12.99 I definitely didn't pay $12.99 I'm sure I paid $4.99 something like that for it so that is excellent extend back stand to display oh I like that idea right I'm going to take the canvas out now Right, so it's sellotaped to the back. However, you need to be careful because I went to pull the sellotape off and it's actually taken the covering off. So you need to be careful with that. I'll just gently take it off. 
the back as well. Right, so it's looking slightly bowed, if you can see that. It's slightly bowed, but I think that's probably the way I've been storing it. I think it will go back flat again. I might actually put something heavy on it just to flatten it down a bit before I start working on it. But if we look at the back, there's the stand. So you will be able to stand it up like so once it's done, hopefully. Not right now, but if you do it properly, you probably would. Right, so I'm going to put something heavy on it while I sort out all the colours and then I'll get started on it and I'll come back and let you know what I think. So I'm just getting ready to sort all the crystals out and one thing that I have noticed is there is obviously something missing and that is a boat. We don't have a little boat for putting our crystals in for um, actually doing the diamond art. So I have got one here that Obviously, if you're a, a seasoned diamond darker, you get loads and loads of these things. However, if this is your first ever canvas, that would be a problem. I don't know if they're expecting you to just keep them in these little areas here and just take them out from there. But I don't know how easy that would be. So that might be one little flaw that they could look at. Um, within this design but other than that the symbols it's, we've got numbers one to nine and then the letter a the letter k and then the green circle which appears to be the eyes right i'm going to carry on okay so the outer layer just peels off like that and you've got everything to hand in there apart from your boat <laughs> And it looks like you do get a fair amount of crystals and they are really quite sparkly. So I'm quite excited about this. Right, I'm going to put all the storage, I'm going to put them all into my little storage and then I'll come back to you. Right, so that is me all kitted up and ready to go. All looks good so far. Um, what I meant to say is this is a partial drill. So for anyone new to diamond painting, basically what that means is that the background there doesn't have any crystals put on it. It's just the main picture. Um, so as you can see, the polythene stuff doesn't stick there, but it does there. That's the sticky bit. That isn't it. So it's a partial drill, which I like because it makes everything really pop quite a bit and it makes it quite quick to do as well. I have got my lovely pen here. I actually really like this. It feels quite comfortable. It feels good quality. It is only a single placer, but that's fine because I don't do multi-placers anyway. But yeah, I think that's very pretty. Much nicer than the standard pens that you get. And um, yeah, so I'm using the boat from a different painting because that wasn't included. But I'm just going to go and get on with this now and I will let you know what I think of it as I'm going along and I'll show you it when it's finished. Right, so it's almost done, just this little bit up here to do. It's a few days later now and I thought I would finish it off on a time lapse while I tell you what I think of it. So here we go. The glue was generally very good but some bits of it did stick to the cover although it didn't actually affect the drills from going down so that was fine. Some of the symbols were very difficult to see. The dark number 9, the number 4 and A were quite difficult to distinguish at times but I found if I did those first it was easier. And also the colours on the canvas are different to the colours on the drill and they're square whereas the drills are round. So for example number six was white but the drill was gold. It was quite confusing and you can actually see some of the colour in the background. There was a lot of trash and um, drills that were flatter than they should be or just the wrong shape. And that did mean that I was a little bit worried about running out of some colours. And the eye colours don't match, which is a bit strange. Right, I think that's him finished. What I want to do now is I always just lift it up, move it about a couple of different angles to make sure that I've not missed any drills because it is easy to miss drills, um, especially when you've got a lot of dark symbols. So I'm going to check for that. Then I'm going to use my toothbrush Obviously, 
a clean toothbrush that hasn't been used for teeth just to go over it all to make sure there's no dog hairs because this house is covered in dog hairs or any little bits of loose wax that might have came off my pen and then I'm going to go over it with my roller to make sure that all the drills are popped down properly. Right, so I don't think I can see any missed drills. I'm just going to quickly brush over it. I like to do this before I use the rolling pin because if there are any dog hairs there, I don't want to force them down with the rolling pin. They're easier to get up at this stage um, than once you've actually went over them flattened everything if you like i'm actually not seeing too much here so that's a good thing not everybody does this not everybody has to do it but in this house with having the four dogs you do get dog hair stuck to it oh oh where did that come from one just flew off that was an a Hey, mister, get back in there. There we go. That's the one downfall of not flattening them first. Right. I think it looks quite clean. I was cleaning off any bits of wax that I saw as I went. So I don't think there should be too much loose wax. Right, now I'm going to take my lovely little rolling pin. You can use just a normal baking rolling pin, that is what I used until I got this. But um, I prefer to use this because it is softer and it is easier to use basically. It's designed specifically for diamond painting, I think. I actually got this roller along with, I love that noise as they pop into place. I got this roller along with um, a light pad. That I got for you doing my diamond paintings and to be honest a light pad or something would probably have been quite handy for this painting because a lot of the dark symbols were really difficult to um, to see properly and distinguish between however because it's on the card like canvas type thing rather than just being the normal flimsy canvas that it's on you wouldn't be able to see through it anyway so I didn't even attempt it right I think I think I think that should be them all in place yep so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stand them up and then let you see them and we'll see what we think so this is the bit here that we use to stand them up. It's quite flimsy, whether or not it'll hold, I don't know. But um, we'll give it a go. And there he is, the finished wolf. I actually really like the finished effect. It stands not bad. I think it could fall over quite easily. But in general, it's standing on its own. Let's have a closer look. I love how he sparkles. Let's have a closer look at him. Right. So there he is. Now, actually, the colours are distinguished better now that it's finished than when I was actually using them. I thought a lot of the colours look the same, but you can tell the difference between them. Um, I can see some of the drills that were flatter than others like that weren't proper that I've maybe missed as I've been going like them there can you see they're flatter than the other ones but that's because I'm really staring at it and because I know a little bit about these if you are just looking at it from a distance and you don't really know much about diamond paintings you wouldn't notice it I do like the fact that it's a partial so that the wolf is really sticking out it's very 3d um and yeah, generally, his eyes are still bothering me. The fact that one of them is, it's got like the AB coating on it, which means it sort of changes colour. Whereas that one is just plain brown. It hasn't got the AB coating. Whether or not that's deliberate, I don't know. Because some wolves do have different eyes. We had a husky who had one blue and one brown eye. However, 
I think it's maybe an error because that eye pops out so much more than that one. And I think, yeah, he actually from a distance looks like he's only got one eye because it's hard to see that eye there compared to that one that really shines and sticks out. But yeah, in general, I think he looks rather nice. He's going to sit nice here in my craft room. Um, the fact that it is squares behind them and that they're not always the same colour. Yeah, quite noticeable to me anyway. I don't know about you. I do notice it quite a bit. However, for a budget painting, um, I think it's not bad. For the price... I would say it's ideal for a beginner or a child even, maybe a slightly more advanced child. I don't mean the child is advanced. I mean a child that's got some experience in diamond painting. Um, I think it's not bad actually for the price. I personally would give it maybe a 6 out of 10, maybe a 7. Um, I was worried that I was going to run out of some drills and there's a couple, like number two there. I've got about three of them left. Number eight. Number eight, there's maybe half a dozen left. But then there's others that there's loads left of. Um, that one there, the empty one, that was the eyes. There, were, there was only two of them, but that's all we needed. So, yeah, generally there were enough drills but because of the amount of trash, um, we did nearly run out of some of them. But yeah, in general, I like that. I would possibly, if I see the other one in B&M, which I think was the White Tiger, I think I probably would pick it up because for the price, it is ideal and it would sit nice next to him. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Have you got one of these? Have you tried it? Um, the bowing of the, the picture from the beginning, if you remember, I did say it was a bit bowed and it is still, it didn't flatten out properly. But again, that may have been my mistake when I was storing it. But let me know if you've got one, if it did the same um, and what you think of it if you have done it. And if not, would you consider doing it if you saw it in the shop? I'm sure it was £5, four ninety nine, maybe five ninety nine a push, but no more than that. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next craft video. Thanks everyone. Bye.